The US economy is carrying on with a robust recovery. The benchmark stock indexes continued a rapid rally and hit all-time highs yesterday. The number of US unemployment claims eventually began to decline. Today, investors found out that the unemployment rate aged up 0.2% in June, defying expectations for a decline. This disappointment means that the US dollar could tumble a bit for a while. It will impact on the currency pairs in which the US dollar was setting the tone lately. Nevertheless, weakness of the US dollar is going to be short-lived as there are free conditions for its new highs. The US key stock indexes are extending their winning streak. Yesterday, the S&P 500 gained 0.5%. The index, which embraced both stocks of high-tech and established companies, climbed to 4,320 points. Judging by the ongoing dynamic and recent macroeconomic data, the S&P 500 is capable of resuming a rally after a short pause or downward correction. The index is expected to halt in the corridor of 4,280 to 4,360 points. Meanwhile, the authorities worldwide are overhauling the taxation principles for large international corporations. In the first place, Internet and high-tech giants will be subject to these changes. Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook and similar companies will have to pay at least 15% of profits in the countries where they earn such profits regardless of the country of the incorporation. This common policy has been adopted by the G7 countries and 130 other countries followed suit quickly. The US dollar index has been hovering at high levels since early April. The US currency finds solid support from the robust economic recovery. Besides, the greenback Pins uh, hopes uh, on rampant inflation in the United States. In turn, a surge uh, in uh, inflation summons expectations for a rate hike by the Fed Reserve. Meanwhile, the US dollar index is trading at near 92 and 60. It's likely to hold in the corridor of 92 and 10 to 92 and 60. Experts do not rule out its downward retracements. This is what is going on in the meantime. The reason is the higher-than-expected jobless rate. Yesterday, the US dollar advanced against its Canadian peer to the high seen on June 21. The USD card phase trading at about 1.2440. However, today the greenback lost some footing in the light of the US non-farm payrolls. At the same time, the loonie has regained some losses. The currency pay is expected to trade in the corridor of 1.2350 to 1.2400, depending on the market response to new economic data from the United States. The cryptocurrency market has come to a standstill. Bitcoin has been trading in a narrow range at the level slightly above $33,000. Recently, no important news has been released on the crypto front. No wonder the whole market is trading with a low dynamic. From the technical viewpoint, Bitcoin is trading without a clear-cut trend, as it's difficult to define support and resistance levels. Hence, the number one cryptocurrency is set to trade in the range of $23,500 to $34,500 until important news appears. And now let's draw a conclusion. The US stock market is closing this trading week at a new historic highs. This comes as no surprise. Indeed, the vaccination campaign in the United States has proved to be successful. Coronavirus rates are keeping low. The domestic economy has gained strong momentum. On the other hand, this optimism has been already priced in in current asset prices. It means that the market is likely to make a deep downward correction in case of negative economic data or fresh evidence of inflation acceleration. 
When this uh, typing point comes, we will share our forecast with you. Stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and see you on Monday.